You are listening to Sacred Heart of Jesus Radio, a ministry of the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Hello everyone and welcome to today's morning prayer. We begin by saying, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we thank you for watching over us last night and for bringing us safely to this day. Sacred Heart of Jesus, you are worthy of all thanks and praise. Have mercy on us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we offer this day to you. Fill our hearts with humbleness, compassion, mercifulness, and love, O Sacred Heart, O Lord. May our hearts be united to your Sacred Heart. Grant that we may be transformed into your image, O Living Bread from Heaven. Lord Jesus Christ, meek and humble you died on the cross for us. Yet aware of your great sacrifice, we have continued to sin against you. Your sacred heart has shown us perfection. You have given us all your love, but we have not loved you with a whole heart. We have not followed your example. When your sacred heart invited us to love our neighbors and our enemies as we love ourselves, we turned and walked away. When you gave us the opportunity to be merciful and forgive those who have hurt us, we often closed our hearts instead. We prostrate ourselves before your throne and implore that you forgive our sins. Purify our hearts so that we may perfectly and worthily love and magnify your sacred heart. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we do always and everywhere give you thanks and praise. For you are holy, holy, holy Lord. You are indeed the fountain of all goodness. We thank you for the immeasurable stream of mercy that pours out freely from you, our adorable heart. We rejoice at knowing that your forgiveness and compassion are constantly manifested in our life because of your unending grace. Let all who acknowledge you King of Kings praise you and thank you day and night. We now take this moment to bring to mind the needs of the Christian Church. We especially pray for persecuted brothers and sisters who suffer at the hands of those who hate Jesus. We especially pray for our brothers and sisters in the Middle East where so, there's so much chaos, so much suffering, especially so much suffering amongst our brothers and sisters who are surrounded by people who hate Jesus and who are determined to slaughter and to destroy anything remotely associated with Jesus. We pray, Lord, that you send your angels before them to remove all obstacles out of their way and to encamp around them and protect them from all attacks of the enemy. We also pray, Heavenly Father, for all bishops. We especially pray for Archbishop Brown. We pray for all the apostles, priests, missionaries, deacons, religious, and all people. <clears throat> and Heavenly Father, we pray for all those who are sick. We especially pray for those who suffer from cancer, 
lupus, multiple sclerosis, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, mental health problems, drug addiction, or any other form of addiction. We pray for those who are homeless. We pray for the poor, the unemployed, and the oppressed. And we pray for an end to domestic violence, an end to the abuse of women and children, and an end to abortion. We also bring to you, Lord, the special intentions for the order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. <clears throat> Lord, we pray that when we come together for prayer, we may pray in the Spirit at all times, in every prayer and supplication. Merciful Father, without your Holy Spirit, we are nothing but emptiness and confusion. Let us be filled with the Holy Spirit so that we may be inspired to pray according to your will and purpose. Gracious Father, as you fill us with your Holy Spirit, let the manifestation of the Spirit be given to us. Grant us a message of wisdom. Grant us a message of knowledge. Increase our faith. Bless us with the gifts of healing. Give us miraculous powers. Give us the gift of prophecy, the gift of distinguishing between spirits, the gift of speaking in different kinds of tongues, the gift of interpretation of tongues, but more importantly, Lord, we pray that you bless us with the gift of love, all according to your will and for the glory of your holy name. Lord Christ, in your mercy you have called us to serve you. We pray that you will guide us and inspire us by the Holy Spirit, so that when we speak, a message may be given to us to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel. Heavenly Father, we live in a time when the world attempts to contaminate every aspect of our life with contradictions to your word. Help us to be strong in you, God, and to rely on your power. Put your armor on us, God, so that we may be able to stand against the tricks of the devil. Christ Jesus, many refuse to hear your holy message and are being deceived by the enemy. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. We pray according to your will that you send out workers into your harvest field, that upon hearing your gospel, many will repent, be baptized, and be saved by your unending grace. King of Peace, as you ask, whom shall I send to proclaim your message of salvation into the world. Here am I. Send me. Look kindly upon you. Servants gather here today and use each of us according to your gifts as ambassadors of your holy message here in your city and around the world. Lord God, Heavenly King, revive us and we will call on your name. Restore us, O Lord, God Almighty. Make your face shine upon us that we may be saved. Bring a revival to each one of us that from all revival many will come to hear and accept the good news of salvation. And now as O Lord Jesus Christ has taught us, we are bold to sing. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, <clears throat> thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, 
To you I consecrate and offer up my person and my life, my actions, trials, and sufferings, that my entire being may henceforth only be employed in loving, honoring, and glorifying you. This is my irrevocable will, to belong entirely to you and to do all for your love, renouncing with my whole heart all that can displease you. I take your sacred heart for the sole object of my love, the protection of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my frailty and inconstancy, the reparation for all the defects of my life, and my secure refuge at the hour of my death. I pray that you, O most merciful heart, be my justification before God, your Father, and screen me from his anger, which I have so justly merited. I fear all from my own weakness and malice, but placing my entire confidence in you, O heart of love, I hope all from your infinite goodness, annihilate in me all that can displease or resist you. Imprint in me your pure love, so deeply in my heart that I may never forget you or be separated from you. I beg you through your infinite goodness, grant that my name be engraved upon your heart, for in this I place all my happiness and all my glory, to live and to die as one of your devoted servants. Amen. This concludes today's morning prayer. I'm glad you were able to tune in and pray with us today. I hope that you will be able to join us later on today when we do afternoon and then evening prayer and that you'll be able to join us every day, three times a day. We do these prayers seven days a week. So please share this with your friends and with your family so that they too can take part of this very special time that we spend together in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the presence of the sacred heart of Jesus. And if there's ever a heart that we want to get to know better, if there's ever a heart that we want to, to completely immerse ourselves in, it's the heart of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord, for His heart is true love. His heart is forgiveness. His heart is grace. And so, by taking part of the devotion to the sacred heart of Jesus, we are in essence spending time in deep meditation about the, the sacred heart of our Lord, about what His love is all about. And if we could get even a tiny, minuscule, mustard seed amount of understanding from our meditation about the sacred heart of Jesus, we will have accomplished a lot in our lives. For what greater thing could we have than to be gifted with the, with the love, with the gift of love through the Holy Spirit? Take a moment right now. It only takes one tiny second of your time. And click on the share button of your application. And share these prayers with your social network contacts, your friends, your family and all the people that you have access to on your social networks. You can also share these prayers um, depending on your cell phone and depending on, you, on your <coughs> excuse me, application. You can share them uh, via text, via email, whatever it means you have used them because there's nothing greater than sharing the love of Jesus Christ with those around us. I encourage you to come by our website at sacredheartjesus.org. That is sacredheartjesus.org. And when you get to our website, right on the homepage, there's a form. Fill out that form so that we can send you some information, so that I can send you some information about the order of the Sacred Heart.